leadership and integrity. Your opponent, who did not turn up tonight, said he could not come to this debate because he did not want to face a man who has no regard for ethics, public morals, or shame. How do you respond to that? Do you sincerely believe that that is the reason why he's not here? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. My competitor is not here because he doesn't have a plan. He doesn't have an agenda. He cannot articulate anything to the people of Kenya. That's why he's not here. Secondly, my competitor is not here because he doesn't want to answer difficult questions. You know, he's been part of this administration, the handshake administration for the last five years. Camps happened and many other things happened. In fact, my competitor could not come here because he's not the real candidate. He's a project. Um, at this moment, Honorable Ruto, just um, one moment. Um, just to remind our members of the audience that uh, they agreed to abide by the rules of the debate, and that involves no cheers, no jeers, no noise. Honorable Ruto, I'm sorry I interrupted you. Please carry on. Sorry. So, uh, I mean, that, that's the reason. So, these are just scapegoats. You know, he, he's dodging difficult questions. He doesn't want to answer. His allies, the handshake allies, Mr. Deputy President, there are expectations.